Who will be the next president of the United States in 2024? This big question has everyone talking and arguing all over the world. As the 2024 presidential election gets nearer, we understand it's very important. This event will choose the future of America and the whole world for the next four years. Let's look at the main people who could become president. They come from all sorts of jobs, like successful business owners and experienced politicians. Each of them has done something special to stand out. Some of these people have worked in law, world affairs and money matters and have helped a lot of people. We have people who have been in the military which gives them a different view on defense and world issues. Some have been important in making big laws, showing they can handle hard legal and political problems. They have done a lot of different things. Some have made big changes in their states, while others have been given awards for their great service to the country. They are also very skilled. Many have high-level degrees from good schools, while others have many years of helping the public. By looking at these people, we can decide who is the best choice to lead the United States to a bright and good future. The 2024 presidential election is not just about picking a leader, but choosing the direction of the whole country. Before we dive deep into the potential Republican candidates, let's discuss the potential changes if either Trump or Biden win the 2024 election. If Trump wins, we might see a return to his America First policies. His presidency could once again reshape the Supreme Court, bring back his strict immigration laws, and re-establish his trade policies, which prioritize boosting local businesses. He could also continue his peace talks with North Korea and other nations, which could drastically alter global relations. Now, if Biden wins, we might see a continuation of his current policies and initiatives. His focus on climate change, healthcare reform, and racial equity would continue to be the driving force of his administration. This could lead to more green jobs, better healthcare coverage, and more equal opportunities for everyone. The potential impact of these outcomes on the United States and the world is immense. The 2024 election could bring significant changes depending on whether Trump or Biden win. It's not just about picking a president. It's about choosing the direction of the country and the world. So as we go deep into the potential Republican candidates, keep in mind the weight of these potential changes. Firstly, we are hearing that past President Donald Trump might be coming back into politics. Trump's potential return is exciting because he always put America first. This could be seen in the rules he made like very tough immigration laws, changing global trade deals, and boosting local businesses. Even though his time as president had its issues, he made big changes like reshaping the Supreme Court, lowering taxes, and starting peace talks with North Korea. However, there's a new twist. It seems his trusted friend, Mike, might not join him this time. There are many other who might run instead. This includes Senator Tim Scott, who is well known for his work on police reform and helping poorer areas. There's also Candace Owens, a conservative speaker who has strong opinions and a good relationship with Trump supporters. The most likely candidates are Governors Ron DeSantis and Christy Noem. DeSantis, the governor of Florida, is loved by many for how he handled the COVID-19 crisis. Noem, the first female governor of South Dakota, is liked for her strong conservative views. Let's start our discussion with potential leaders. First up is Tim Scott. He's really special because he's the first senator from South Carolina. He's very good with tax stuff. He's known for making and supporting laws that help the economy grow and lower taxes for the public. Not just taxes. Scott is really dedicated to education too. He works hard to make sure everyone, especially the poor, can get good education. Scott is really liked by conservatives. They admire him for always putting America first. He has a lot of loyal conservative followers because he's serious about national issues and the American dream. His nice personality and strong belief in what he stands for make him even more popular. Candace Owens is a conservative speaker who is known for her strong opinions. 
She is not sorry for what she says and often challenges what most people believe. This makes her an interesting possible candidate. She is not scared to share her viewpoints from supporting people's right to speak their minds to criticizing government help for poor people. Owens is interesting because of her ability to start deep conversations. Her bravery and smartness could bring new ideas to politics. This makes her a strong choice for a candidate. Governors Ron DeSantis and Kristi Noem have done a great job running their states. They could be good presidents. Governor DeSantis from Florida has shown he can handle problems and help his state do better, even when things are tough. His good leadership skills make him a strong person to think about for president. Just like him, Governor Kristi Noem from South Dakota has shown she can make hard choices and stick with them. She is brave and dedicated. We should not ignore that she could also be a good president. Both DeSantis and Noem have led their states with a lot of energy and determination. They could be strong presidents. They don't just run their states, they dream of and work towards a better future. They could definitely be good for the top political job in the country. On the other side, we have a famous Republican named Ted Cruz. He is known for his simple, old-fashioned beliefs like saving money, small government, and sticking to old customs. He really likes the idea of low taxes and not too many rules. He believes in the power of free business and personal rights. Also, Cruz is good at arguing his points. He has a special way of explaining complex ideas in ways everyone can understand. This is because he used to be a champion in national debates and went to a top university, Princeton. He's good at dealing with tough talks, often using strong points, facts, and common sense. This makes him different from others. Cruz has thought about running for president, but it depends on what President Trump does. He is sure that the Republicans will win the House and the Senate, which would be a big power change. His strong support for these elections shows his loyalty to his party and his belief in a Republican majority to keep conservative principles and policies. To summarize, who might run for president in 2024? We've discussed many possible candidates. Each one has their own strengths and unique views. We've looked at Trump's America First approach, Scott's new ideas about taxes, Owens's strong views, the leadership shown by DeSantis and Noem as governors, and Cruz's debating skills. The 2024 presidential race sure interesting. Remember, each candidate brings something different to the race. But in the end, it's up to the people to decide who will become the next president of the United States in 2024. We'll have to wait and see. Thank you for watching the video.